Hey out there, I have one question from a person that was asking how to add a clickable website link into his YouTube description. And I'll go ahead and show that to you real quick. Let's go ahead and get on YouTube.com. Make sure you're logged in or sign in. Once you're signed in, let's hit the drop down. Let's go to Video Manager. And we'll let that load up real quick, even though it's not that quick. Let's go ahead and hit edit on uh, which video you would add the, the description on. And down here in the description, this is where we'll go ahead and add a link. So let me just take one out here real quick. And this is a great way to promote your website or you can add links to a different video that somebody can click on too. This is another way to send them that direction. So the first mistake I made when I was trying to add links back in the day, I would put your normal web address like www.whateveryourwebaddresses.com and what I found out that doesn't work. What you need to do is you take the www out of the address and you go http semicolon backslash backslash and then put your website in which is for me that's MJ Bauer Photography dot com and that is as long as you have a HTTP semicolon backslash backslash and then type out the address, it, it's going to work for you. Now, let's say you want to promote or in your description you want to send people to another video that you made or a friend's video or something. You can add on there, click link to check out this video. I'm just throwing something out there real quick. Okay, what I want to do is open up a new web browser page here. Let's go to YouTube. So now you got two different YouTubes going here. Let's go back to Video Manager. Hit the click down, Video Manager. And this is actually a really good trick. I do this a couple times. And let's just say I want to share this video here. Okay. Now, what you want to do, hold on a minute. Let me back up for you real quick. Don't hit edit when you want to share a video. Here's what you got to do. You got to actually click on the video itself. Sorry, that was my mistake. Let's just click on the actual video. And then what you want to do is just pause it. Come down here to share. Let's click that. And you see this right here? That's the web address for the actual video itself. So let's go ahead and hit copy. I'm going to minimize this one. And now I'm on the description again on the original one. And let's hit paste hit enter there so there I go I have an actual address for that video so once you actually add your web addresses on here let's just go ahead and hit save changes okay let's go back to video manager I want to check this and see how it worked and let's actually click on the video itself and let's just pause it once again let's go down to the description here so here's a couple links there's my website now here's that other video let's click on that and see if it actually takes me to the video bingo there it is actually pulled up the video even though it's the same one I shown so basically it's just a repeat but anyways now let's say I screwed up I don't want that in there now so what I could do just go back to video manager one more time 
to edit. There's always a couple different ways of doing this, so this is just one way I'm just showing you. Now I'm just going to go ahead and just get rid of this. So I'll just highlight it and hit backspace and delete it and hit save changes again. So hope this uh, helped you out. That's the little trick of adding a web address into the description. Um, another video I'm going to need to make and I'll show you how to add your web address or link your other videos towards the end of this video with annotations and that's a real powerful tool so I'll, I'll have to make a whole new video on how to do these and a very powerful tool for directing traffic to different videos that you may have so anyways I hope this helped you and if it did uh, please hit the like button and feel free to subscribe too um, definitely appreciate it and you have yourself a very good day